In this video, we are going to walk through how to customize some of the design elements of your donor portal. To do this, we are going to head to Features, Website, Site Design. The first tab that you want to go to to customize is the Donor Portal tab. And this tab has a few settings around customizing some of the wording and labels. So the first settings you see are around customizing the cancellation messages for recurring payments. So those apply to your recurring payments tab here. If you were to click into a recurring payment and hit cancel, it's the language that you will see here. The next setting we see is the purchased media. So by default, this is called purchase media, but if you want to change it from that to something like downloadable content, it changes the name of the tab on the left hand side here. Next, we have the direct and secondary impact features. So again, if you don't want this to be called my impact, maybe you want to change it to say referral link, you can update that and that applies to the my impact tab here. There's also a setting to change the text under the referral link and that applies to this setting here. Lastly, we have the external donations display. This is strictly for organizations who are using the CRM donor perfect. Now, based on the donor ID assigned to a supporters profile, we can pull in gifts that exist in donor perfect, but not in give cloud. We only pull these into the donor portal area and not into your admin, but you can choose the heading for that section and which columns from donor perfect to display. Now those will show in your my donations and orders tab under all order history here. Now the next tab that we want to click into in terms of the donor portal and how it looks is the login registration and opt-ins tab. Here is where you can set the styling. So for example, you can choose to use a background color in the header here, or if you don't want it to be a color, you can choose to set an image instead. If I hit save, I can show you that updating. Lastly, you'll want to pay attention to the colors that are being used here. So these pull from the colors that you set as your primary, secondary, and alternate color under the basics tab. So it's a good idea to use high contrast colors so that you can see all of the text.